Hello 705, today is March 20th, 2020. I'm Brittany Teacher here to do your picture writing lesson with you. Today we're going to work on page 16. Page 16 in your picture writing book. Let's go ahead and look at the picture together. What do you see? Remember, when we start writing a picture writing story, we need five sentences. The first sentence should always be about the person or people. Who do you see? Okay, also remember that you don't need to begin every sentence with I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's very um, boring when you write and when you read a story. So try to start every sentence a little differently. How many, uh, who is in this picture? There are two boys, right? Two boys are in this picture. We should try to notice as many things about the boys as we possibly can. Like, what are they wearing? They're wearing pajamas. Why are they wearing pajamas? Because it's daytime or nighttime? Nighttime, that's right, it's nighttime. So two boys are awake at nighttime. Do you think they're brothers or friends? It doesn't matter which one you choose. It's your story, you can say whatever you want. Maybe they're cousins. You can say, two brothers are walking where? After we notice the who, we needed to notice the where, where are they? I see a bed and window and computer. It looks like his bedroom, right? Two boys are walking in their bedroom at night. What are they holding? A baseball bat and a tennis racket. Why do you think they're holding a baseball bat and tennis racket and walking around at night like this. What does their face say? What is their expression, their feeling, their emotion? They look a little scared, right? Do you think maybe they heard a monster and they're trying to hit it? Or maybe they heard a funny noise in their closet or outside? It seems to me like they're a little bit afraid of something. This is their feeling or emotion, okay? So remember, when we're talking about emotions, we can say they look afraid or they look scared. Don't say they look scary, okay? Scary, if I'm a monster, I am scaring you, so I'm scary. But if you see a monster ah, over there and he scares you, he is scary and you are scared, okay? Something is scary, but I feel scared or afraid, okay? Don't say they feel scary. No, that's not right. So when you're writing your story, two boys are doing something where? They are walking at night in their bedroom, okay? They are holding, what are they holding? A baseball bat and tennis racket. That's what that's called. Baseball bat, tennis racket, T-E-N-N-I-S, racket, R-A-C-K-E-T. Tennis racket, two words. Because, why? They heard a noise, they are scared. They are going to find a monster, something, okay? Come up with five sentences. Here are five examples of ways that you could begin. You could answer, who and what do you see? We already answered that question. Number two, where are the boys? Number three, what are they doing? Number four, how do they feel? Number five, what time of day is it? Okay, but here, listen to this story. If I just answer each of these questions alone and I don't connect them, it's not very interesting. Listen, 
I see two boys. They are in their bedroom. They are hunting a monster. They feel afraid. It is nighttime. That's not a very interesting story, right? So try to make the story interesting. Include all of those details, but also include your own opinions. Do you feel scared when you look at this picture? What do you think about this picture? Okay, I'm not going to write on the board for you because I wrote on the board for you on Wednesday when we did our last picture writing lesson. So if you want examples of how to write sentences, you can look at that video again. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. We are finished with your picture writing lesson. Thank you, and I will see you next week. Bye.